Solar power is nothing new. However, the technology for harvesting the sun's energy is constantly evolving. And getting better, yeah. Tonight, News 8 meteorologist Sam Cantro heads to Lavender Farm in Killingworth to check out the smart flower. For the past three summers, the town of Killingworth has been graced with 25 acres of peace and tranquility. We keep it open to the public so people can come in. We like to encourage people to come picnic, uh, painting. A lot of people come with easels for the day. Well, thanks to the sun, this family farm has been able to grow thousands of lavender plants. Call it a labor of love. We live on the property, we work on the property, and it involves, you know, allows our children to kind of really see what it takes to, to, to grow a business literally and figuratively. And this family does it all. They sell essential oil, a variety of goods from their shop, and even lavender lemonade on the property. They live by the saying, what have you done to make the world a more beautiful place? And thanks to help from a USDA grant, the farm is now both more beautiful and more efficient because of this. This is the Smart Flower. It's the second installed in the United States and the first in Connecticut. We're really striving to kind of create a more beautiful environment. And we really thought that the solar Smart Flower really fit with not just the, the functionality of what we're trying to do, but also really the form factor. I mean, it's cool to watch it every morning. And while it might look advanced, lead technician from All Green at Solar in Southington says it's really not that complex. It's very easy to put up. Really? Yeah, the most difficult part is digging a trench. Other than that, it's it's very simple. And while it looks really cool, it's the efficiency that makes this solar panel system much better than the roof-mounted ones. It's about 40% more efficient than a standard system. That efficiency is thanks to the power of satellites. Uh, it's GPS tracking, and it will automatically sync up to where the sun's going to be in the sky. Even on a cloudy day, it'll still be pointing directly at the sun throughout the entire day. So as the day moves on, the solar panel moves with it. When it gets dirty, the panels close up, clean on their own, and open back up again. At night, when the sun isn't up, the smart flower closes and stores automatically. And to prevent damage on windy days, if the winds are more than 30 miles an hour, the system will fold up all on its own. Now, the experts say these systems will cost a little bit more money to have installed. But I'll tell you one thing, they sure look a whole lot cooler. If you want to check this one out, it's here in Killingworth at Lavender Pond Farm. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantrell. News 8.